Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fully Cooly episode number two. All right, the first episode it was a complete, what can I say, chaos filled first episode and a lot of things happened and a lot of um, like you know like the new characters that we met were not much. There were I think three or four characters that we met. Uh, Haruko, uh, the girl who came like you know with, with the guitar that girl uh i think she called herself an alien or something uh, then what was her name mamini i think that was her name uh the the girl and the boy was naoto yeah the boy's name was i, I think that was naoto yeah i think so these are the three main characters and i think so at least i'm not sure if they're going to introduce some more characters probably we'll get to know in this episode and these are the three main characters and it was fantastic it was a great start you know like but one thing i was able to realize is that we like you know like i, sh I should not think too much about stuff happening here because this is a show which you just enjoy you know and all the stuff is going to a lot of weird stuff is going to happen and you should not fuss too much about and like you know stuff and try not to find meaning behind everything so it's just just like a show where like weird stuff is going to happen and you'll you like you know you'll be laughing when that happens and that's just it like don't try to get too deep into stuff <laughs> so yeah i kind of realized that from the first episode and a lot of times happens first of all the girl hit nato with a guitar his head then had like an interdimensional portal or something a robot came out of that the robot started fighting <laughs> and then in the end haruko kind of beats the robot up and now the robot is their friend i think and <laughs> you know like the, there's another thing with uh, mamimi that's going on like you know like he liked naoto's brother but her brother like, you know, but his brother is outside you know and she has already had gotten a girl and like mamimi is like you know insecure about that and that's why he she is so uh you know like what can i say like show clingy yeah so clingy towards naoto and like weird type of a like you know situation <laughs> and that was that so yeah that was basically the first episode and uh, and there's a lot of word plays and there's uh like you know the way the anime is done is quite interesting because there's like in this one section they completely put out the manga panels and it was not animated like in the manga panels were animated like that was quite funny i i felt and i think there's like a lot of parodies as well a lot of references here and there so yeah like a lot of things happen in the first episode so let's see what this episode brings this is episode number two of fully coolie so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here think it whichever is a preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> oh God. No. It's a God that only I can see. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Why? <laughs> oh, brain. Wait, he lost his brain? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, what's happening? 
Is that a transformation sequence? Galaxy Patrol Officer. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Her halo. Oh. Medical mecha. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Wait, she doesn't even know what happened? That means? Like, it seems as if she also doesn't have... <laughs> so he lost his brain and he has a horn in his back. Wow, that's... Um... <laughs> oh my god, they're using him for... <laughs> Damn, everyone's looking. Oh, Nobita's family, Doraemon, okay. Wow, the references! My god! The references! <laughs> if I... What? TV could... Wow. Wait, what the hell is this? Takun? Who? Oh, what? Yeah, it wasn't... Gum? No, she said something about a god? Cantido. Oh. What the? What's happening? Oh my god. Oh great, come on. Oh great, he's still... <laughs> Nursed. Up. I'm a human. Oh. <laughs> Kid is a guardian. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, what the? Oh, it's... That's a crow. No, wait. 
Oh, it's a robot. It's falling in. Oh, what's what's it doing? Whoa! What? Damn, the song is... Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You don't even have a brain. What's <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my god wow it's so fast paced all right <laughs> what's with the ah uh, what's with the visuals <laughs> What's with the drawing? <laughs> uh. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> Can't he? Oh. Damn. He's <laughs> just using. <laughs> just using a. Canty as a. What the? What is that? Oh, it's for him? <laughs> what the? Spin up! Oh my god! It's a god. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, it's on the news. God. Oh no. The they're here to Oh these people. Uh, these girl, uh kids. <laughs> what? Like a school? Wow, this kids are... Oh! Wait a minute... Is that... Yeah, her! Oh, really?
Whoa, what's happening? Whoa, 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 what's happening? Wait, 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 wait. Is she like... Oh my god. Wait, are they implying that she's the one who's doing the, uh, the arson? Oh no, again, another one. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, wow, she is... Oh... Oh. Wait, what? How is she floating? Whoa, 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 what's happening? <laughs> oh, it's a robot. Is that a robot? What is that? Oh my God, another. What's happening? Oh my god! <laughs> what? 
Wow! Oh! <laughs> Whoa, whoa, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Just flicked it off. My god, flicking everything away. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Whoa, what? Wait, what the? What is even happening? Is he like getting... What the... Damn! So it kind of mixed together with Naoto I guess? Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> it went back. It's a boomerang or something. What the? Um, run? I think it's going to self-destruct. Yeah. Wow. Oh! Oh my gosh, pooped him out. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, run. Wait, what? Oh, it's raining. Okay. Okay, uh, that was fairly understandable. Like, I did not have any problem understanding what's happening. I thought I would have, but... <laughs> You know, with this so fast-paced story, uh, but I was able to wonder, understand what's happening. Uh, it's fairly simple, I think. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of things that we should not, at least for this show, we should not think too much about. Like, like these type of shows, like this show and um, like another show which I felt was very similar was Serial Experiments Lane. It's in these type of shows what you have to do is go with the flow <laughs> yeah just just don't think too much go with the flow and you'll be able to understand eventually what's happening <laughs> and even if there's stuff that you don't understand keep going with the flow hopefully you'll be able to understand by the end of it or if you don't then 
it would mean that it doesn't matter if you understand it or not i think it's something like that just just watch it that's just it and here obviously there are a few things that still don't make sense but the major like you know, the main summary of this episode was that the, like there's a new character here uh kanti i think that's what mamimi named the robot and there's something some kind of a i don't know maybe some kind of relationship between kanti and the brother i don't know i might be wrong but when naoto called kanti like you know like looked at him and kanti was saving them naoto was like brother and then something happened and it suddenly took naoto in and transformed into like like something stronger like some sort of strong robot it became red completely and it started beating up the other opponent so easily so okay is that okay there's still something left all right let's see oh never mind <laughs> this also happened in the previous episode but anyway okay so yeah uh as i was saying so yeah so it it became this kind of like a, i don't know like some kind of stronger entity and started fighting the other opponent easily with naoto in him and easily defeated the other robot and then like you know pooped naoto out that's basically what happened now <laughs> i as i said there are a few things that i don't know it's kind of bothering me number one is the whole arson thing that's happening um i don't know it seemed as if they're implying that the one who's doing it is mommy me but i don't think so like, you know like the whole uh comparison of the like you know what's happening the arson and what's happening in the game that mommy me plays you know that that game where like saying that like you know you burn the city down or something like there's a god called Kan kanti something and she i think like you know i don't know if it's implying that or not but it's probably like you know like drawing a parallel between the um the the things that's happening in, inside the game that she plays and what's happening now in the outside and there was like a scene where naoto was very like you know like kind of standing flabbergastedly looking at mamimi when like you know mamimi was walking on, on the bridge and she was smoking you know and like there was like a big emphasis given on the cigarette which was burning little by little and then they were like also showing what's happening the arson thing that's happening and what's were happening in the game where in the game i guess you also burn places down or something so i don't know if that was like them actually like you know comparing that to or what they were actually trying to do there but it seemed as if they were trying to make us feel that uh mamimi was the actual arsonist who is doing this but i doubt that is the case we'll see like you know and <clears throat> okay um, one thing another thing that we got from this episode is that uh what just a sec Yeah, another thing that we got from the, this episode is the little bit of uh, information of the past. We saw that that scene where Mamimi was sitting with the candles and in front of a, you know, like a like a burnt down place, and it's impl like not implied, but I think Mamimi herself said that in that scene that this is the place where we met. Your brother and I, and I think Naoto was also there with them. And yeah, like Mami said that you are too small to remember. And so this place is that place. And it seemed like they, like you know, they said this before as well that his brother, that is Naoto's brother, saved them at that scene. And that was also being shown at that scene where you know, like they were fighting the robot. Kanti and the robot were fighting, and. Uh, and something happened like uh yeah like the, the like you know uh, naoto saved mamimi 
fell down and well were in danger but Kanti came in and shielded them or something and when Naoto looks up she he gets reminded of that day where in a similar way he and probably Mamimi was like you know fallen down and his brother came and saved them or something at that scene and that's when he suddenly like you know he says that brother and then something changes in the <clears throat> in the robot in Kanti and okay let's see the scene again just a sec okay yeah he looks up he call he says brother and then something lights up inside Kanti's TV screen and we see Kanti kind of blowing like, like you know like like yeah like kind of shrugging off the other robot and then it suddenly captures Naoto opens its stomach or something and takes him in and then I don't know what happened Naoto like something you know there's like a light bulb glowing in, inside Takto's head and then they assimilated or something became red and he became too strong so and i don't know what was happening there like there was a reaction at uh haruko's uh chains in the, the hands you know the, the 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 little chains that she has it was also reacting to that probably something we'll get to know in the future and then we obviously see like you know like uh, Kanti or like you know the mixture of Kanti and uh, Naoto them fighting the robot and it became like a huge I don't know cannon or something shot the other robot and the cannonball came back and it consumed the ball <laughs> and Haruko like you know provided the finishing blow so yeah okay another thing is that happened here was I don't know what the hell happened there but the reason why his horn again becoming uh, uh, started to um, grow was when I don't know what that scene was but Mamimi starts floating and going towards Kanti and says that bless me with your kiss and said like your reward no my reward or something she said yeah and this is the scene where like the the robot thing like appeared from his head now i don't know maybe this thing happens when naoto is agitated or something you know when his emotions are heightened or something maybe that's when the robot starts popping up because i think in episode one also something like that happened wasn't it yeah yeah, yeah i think something like that also happened in episode one so i'm still not sure why the robots pop out of his head but i think uh, haruko said something about uh you know like these robots are actually made in that medical that 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 plant you know that that thing uh on top of the hill these are the medical robots i think he said she said something like that are actually manufactured there and she was surprised why the hell these things are actually popping out of his head so yeah there are as i said there are a lot of questions which still need answering so yeah okay another thing that kind of got confirmed here is as i said in the previous episode something is wrong with mommy me in like you know i don't know like um she's being bullied or something and that was kind of implied here again where they see like her uh slippers her shoes uh in the water and they look at it and they see that she's kind of like you know drying herself in the river and like, there's like eye bags in her underneath her eyes and it looks like she's like you know like she's like i don't know she was kind of untidy so probably like someone like pushed her into the river or something something happened i think and that's most probably the girls that they were talking about that are actually bullying her or something 
and most probably that is also the reason why she always kind of wanders around you know like uh, doesn't go to school or something and she's just there here and there wandering around because most probably because of the bullying and i'm still not sure why she doesn't go back home that's one thing and why she's actually asking for breadcrumbs in the first episode but i'm sure there she also has some problem in her house as well like so that's like you know that's why she's always just in the bridge or doing some random stuff just standing there wandering around and like you know doesn't have any place to go and that's probably why and yeah like it's sad like what else can i say <clears throat> okay is there anything else um okay the whole thing with kanti i'm still unable to understand i'm going to call him kanti because that's what she named her uh, the robot uh like what is that thing like there's no explanation it it like i i don't even know what it was actually doing in the um uh you know in the in the in the room in, in that place in, in the burned down place where mamimi followed uh kanti kanti was kind of i don't know like like you know uh, folding his hands praying to something and was just floating up into the sky i don't even know what that was so these are the few things that are still that still need some explanation and yeah hopefully we'll get it so i don't know there must be some kind of relationship between kanti and the and Naruto's brother, Naruto as well, you know, like they're somehow connected. Because why else would it go back to that burned down place where, uh, you know, where which was the place where all three of the of them, Naruto, his brother, and uh, Mamimi met? So yeah, we'll see. And by the end of it, as we see, like you know, the the last fight that happened, like I I remember Mamimi saying something. Like I don't like this place. Uh, it, it burned down, but still I feel as if the ashes should also um, disappear. I don't like the ashes as well. Like I want everything about this place to go away, which is obviously I guess like you know because this this place like reminds her of her brother, like you know of Nato's brother, and because she knows that this feeling would go unrequited forever. She, she, this, this place is just painful for her, I guess that's why i'm guessing she's saying that yeah this place i don't like it i i, I wish the ashes also go away and in the end like you know the, the the fight that happened the by the end of it the ashes are all gone as they said so i guess her wish came true in a way but yeah so okay what else uh Uh, okay, another thing that was yeah, kind of <laughs> un not unusual but kind of eccentric in this episode was that scene where we suddenly see that the drawings are all weird. <laughs> you know where Mami is sitting down and Naoto and Haruko is also there. Like the drawing is called weird. It's like you know, like it, it seems as if someone has scribbled in. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was kind of funny. Oh my god. And the references in, in the show, like, uh, there was, like, one scene where they were referencing one anime after the other. I think, like, they first referenced Doraemon, then all the, a few other shows as well, Evangelion, um, what else? There were a few other, oh, uh, Initial D, and there were a few other shows also they, like, referenced back to back, and my god. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> okay, so, um, alright, I think that's it anything else no oh whoa. okay another thing that's confusing me is why was mamimi actually you know sitting in front of the burnt down place with candles around her and like you know was that like something in game where she, in game she had like some they had to do something like that was she like 
trying to replicate whatever happened in game i'm talking about that game you know that she plays and like in the game i think like there's like a canty something like that that's why she calls um the robot canty and in the game as well like you know you burn down places i guess i'm not sure but was that also something that happened in the game that's why she was doing stuff like that like sitting in in the middle of that place with surrounded by candles two candles in her head and praying like i don't realize what's happening there and yeah i think it must was most probably what happened in game and she's trying to replicate that and the, the the last scene as well where she kind of floats around and goes to her and says that this is like you know like like what, what like this is a reward kiss or something i think that was also something that was in game so I, she was probably like replicating that or something i'm not sure but yeah so that was it i think is there anything else that i missed uh no oh and in the end we see how like you know naoto decides to actually uh go along with uh mamimi you know and like help her in whatever stuff she does in the future and stay by beside her something like that she he he decided by the end and <clears throat> like so yeah so the few things that are still not making sense and i'm not sure if it will by the end of it is what's the relationship of naoto and that um those robots that's popping out of his head one thing we know from this episode is those robots are actually robots which are being manufactured in that medical that facility that you know that medical robot facility or whatever and uh how is it related to naoto that doesn't make sense what happened with kanti and naoto why it absorbed naoto at that scene like these are the few things that don't make any sense still and like it actually like you know what can i say like i was actually surprised when uh in this episode naoto asked haruko that what is wrong like you know what's happening like why is my brain missing <laughs> that was weird like you know when they said that it's like an extreme thing that they did and they saw that the brain is missing and there's like a weird horn sticking out so the thing that surprised me was haruko also did not know what was happening here like she was asking like she was asking naoto instead she was like she was she was like what the hell is wrong with you you know why is your head connected to that facility <laughs> like that was surprising i thought that haruko must know everything or but there's one thing that naoto said in the end he said something like is what haruko saying really the truth or is he hiding something so it might be you know maybe she's just uh, like you know uh, acting uh, like you know like as if she doesn't know anything maybe she actually does know so we'll see about that in the future but yeah these are the stuff that we still need explanations about but there are four more episodes left so i'm sure they'll explain some something by the end of it so that's it guys so that's my reaction to fully coolie episode number two so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so that's it so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of fully coolie so until then goodbye and have a nice day